Ancient Greeks would recognize the landmarks of Athens as they stand today. Then, as now, culture and the quality of life was important. Healthcare was also taken seriously, but 21st century physicians have just a little more technology at their disposal. Soteria Public Hospital serves a large number of elderly and chronic patients dispersed across a huge area from Athens out into the islands of the Aegean. The distances have proved a challenge in the management of rehabilitation, but the hospital's e-health unit now offers tele-monitoring and support to patients who previously relied on multiple visits to the hospital. The new system cuts costs at the same time as looking after people better. We try, first of all, to improve the patient quality of life, the degree of their autonomy, and uh, the degree of uh, their self-management. Uh, second, our second effort is uh, to decrease uh, the percentage of uh, their hospitalizations. There are various phases involved in the service, ranging from full patient training in how to monitor themselves unattended to guided nurse visits. Theodore Katsaras, a registered nurse, is racing through Athens to meet a chronic patient who, without leaving his flat in this leafy suburb, will be able to link up with the hospital's top doctors. The nurse helps connect the equipment and then communication can take place directly between the doctor and the patient, at the same time as monitoring the patient's vital signs. The traditional way is to monitor a patient from time to time uh, with uh, outpatient clinic visits and uh, at the mean while uh, we don't know exactly uh, which is the, his uh, health status situation. With this telemonitoring system, we can follow him during all this period. And uh, with the traditional way, we only have snapshots, let's say, about his uh, health situation. The unit is also developing its wearable solutions, garments containing micro-sensors for monitoring a range of vital signs, from ECG to blood oxygen saturation. All this data are uh, being acquired in this uh, unit, which uh, has also the ability to transmit it wirelessly through uh, cellular network uh, transmission to a receiving station. While the technology is in place, the challenge is to redesign the workflow of the healthcare professionals, at the same time as encouraging a shift in funding from an EU-based pilot project to a nationally funded scheme. Gradually, it is getting the buy-in it needs. Greece, as you know, is fragmented with a lot of islands, a lot of remote areas. We have a, a growing population in age that uh, the, the needs uh, of these people is such uh, that we would like to reach out for them. And um, in the process, uh, I feel that uh, is understood that such a need can be fulfilled. At Attica's Regional Health Authority, responsible for some three and a half million Greeks, the project's success has also been celebrated and endorsed. It is very, very important. The fact is that these are chronic patients whose treatment demands a significant amount of the hospital's resources because they require long-term daily care. The ability for the telehealth unit to monitor them serves their direct needs and, at the same time, reduces the burden on the hospital's resources in caring for these chronic patients. The unit's community-based health approach won the European Commission's recognition in an award for its inclusive public services. But now that the technology has been improved, Theodore and his team are desperate to develop it further. The challenge today is to widely apply this kind of services to a, a larger number of patients, especially to those who especially need them, and I mean the socially disadvantaged and socially and geographical disadvantaged uh, people. That's people like Stefanos, who insist that without the telecare service, they would find it hard to face the stressful journeys to and from the hospital. Since the program started, I'm a different person. I've changed completely. 
I can go out, go walking, go for a coffee with a friend, go for a walk with my wife. Before, I couldn't go anywhere. I was scared. Now I have huge confidence. While the impact of the service on people like the Papaianos is immeasurable, more quantitative techniques prove the unit can achieve significant cost reductions. It now needs the critical mass to demonstrate this further on a larger scale. <laughs>